Stop trying to date these girls out here, man. It's ridiculous. Every time I see a young man or an older man trying to do this in today's dating world, it blows my mind, guys. They are monetized. They are for sale, most of them. Even the ones that are just like, well, no, I want a good guy in a real relationship, but he's got to have enough money. That girl is for sale. Let me explain something, guys. There are two types of men in this world. There's a type of man that can go into a store and say, all right, if I have enough money, I can buy this product off the shelf. That doesn't necessarily mean I should do it. It just means if I have enough money to do it, I can buy this product. And people might look at me and say, oh, he's got that cool product that cost a lot of money. He's something special. Or there's a guy that can go in and say, you know what, just because I can purchase something because it is for sale doesn't mean I should buy it doesn't mean I'm going to buy it. I'm not going to pay money for something simply because it is for sale. I don't want to have something that other people are going to look at and say, oh, he got that thing. He got that new thing that cost this much money. That's how you have to look at women. If she's for sale, if she has a price tag on her, if she's a girl that says, well, I want a good relationship with a guy, but he's got to make X amount of money, she is for sale. Any man could possess her with enough money, more than likely. Why would you want to purchase that? Why would you want to have something simply because it can be bought? I understand if it's a car you like or a fishing reel you like or something, you know, but a, a, um, a person who goes to the highest bidder is not worth having because when you don't have enough to pay the tab for that person, they will leave you. And that makes them not good, not worth having. Guys, if you could buy a nice new pair of tennis shoes and you had to pay X amount a month to own those tennis shoes, you wouldn't want those tennis shoes. One time payment. You buy the nice car, it costs this much money, that's it. No more. You wouldn't want a woman that you have to continually maintain with money because she isn't worth having. And I know there are going to be guys in the comments. Well, that's every girl today. You're damn right it is. Stop. Stop trying to date these women. Stop trying to be in serious relationships with them. Look, if you're not MGTOW and in monk mode and not messing with women, that means you are at least red pill aware. That or you're blue pilled or purple pill, at which case I can't help you until you get served the red pill by a woman. But... You have to understand, guys, if you still want to mess with them, mess with them. Don't cohabitate. Don't live with them. Don't let her sleep over at your place. Don't sleep over at her place. For goodness sakes, wrap up it with a jimmy hat so you don't get her pregnant. But you got to stop trying to marry them, date them, have a serious relationship and a commitment because they are for sale. Across the board, guys, this is the thing. You'll hear girls say this constantly. He's got to have X amount of money. He can't be broke. He can't be this short. He's got to be this tall. He's got to be this in shape. He's got to... All of this makes them not worth having. They don't value you as a human. They don't value you as a person. They'll be the first person to tell you that it's bad if you have standards in what you want in a girl. Oh, you're shallow. Oh, you just like a girl that's pretty. That's why I don't give a damn what they think about what I'm into sexually, as far as women are concerned. I like a pretty girl. If she ain't pretty, I wouldn't fuck with her, and I don't mess with any of them. But you've got to stop putting yourself in a position where you are trying to court or date modern women. They are broken, and most of them are monetized. By their own admission, guys, if she doesn't want to date a guy that makes less than X amount of money... That means she goes to the highest bidder, i.e. she is for sale. And you don't have to buy everything simply because it has a price tag on it. You don't have to go out and say, well, I've got to have a woman because I don't want anyone to think I can't get a woman. Who cares what people think about? Man, have you looked at most of society right now? These people, 90% of them aren't thinking at all. There's a rare breed of men that come through and watch my channel and some other Manosphere channels and they are in the know. They totally understand what's going on, and they know that just the idea of having a girl next to you or on your arm does not make you special. And a lot of times it makes other guys who know better look at you and think, this poor dude is a simp. He's a blue pill, and he's going to get squashed at some point. 
And I know there's younger men listening right now. Well, that's not true. And I'm with a girl and we've been together. Give it time. Give it time, young man. You're not ready yet. Come back to my channel later on once you figure it out. She will teach you eventually. You will learn eventually. And I know men that are out there right now. I've been married for 20 years. and mm -hmm. Give it time. Look around. Tom Brady, Super Bowl winner, Again and again, all-star football player, millions of dollars, had a $450 million deal waiting on him at Fox uh, Sports after he gets done playing football. His wife ain't even happy. Giselle done went off and left and took the children. He couldn't make a woman happy, guys. I mean, I don't understand why you think you're going to be able to. And you might be on the mindset, well, if I make enough money and then she'll never have to. Yes, she will. She'll get bored of it eventually and she'll leave. I mean, look at Tom Brady. Right now, he's in that position where he's worth however many hundreds of millions of dollars, and she knows she can just leave because she ain't happy. And she'll get paid. She'll get rewarded. God only knows how much child support he'll have to pay. I think they have three or four, five kids, four kids, three kids. I don't know. He'll have to pay a ton of child support, out of astronomical amount of child support because of how much he makes and is worth. She'll get half of what he's got money-wise. Even if she got a third of what he's got money-wise, she'll never have to worry about money again, but he will still have to pay child support. She will get paid for the rest of her life, probably, in alimony payments. And I'm talking who knows how much a month. Between child support and alimony, she could get 50000 a month or more. I mean, the just stop. Stop trying to date them. Stop trying to marry them. Stop thinking that you're going to be the one that gets this nice girl to settle down, and she's a really good girl, and she goes to church. Man, they'll let anybody into church. Crackheads, hookers, it don't matter. Molesters, they'll let anybody into church. Just because somebody knows a few Bible verses and goes to church does not make them a good person. Stop trying to date these women. I understand some of you are like, well, I got to get the evil out. Dude, get it out if you got to. Talk to a woman every now and again. Don't have a serious, committed relationship with her. Don't you, you guys, more men come to me every single day on this channel that are hurting that have been through this. I've talked to thousands of men about the same thing over and over again. I don't just make these videos saying this just to tell you this. And I don't make these videos because I'm mad at women. I'm not. I could care less. I don't mess with them because I know better. I've seen it. I've lived it time and probably 50 times or more in my life I've been red-pilled by women. The same situation. Damn, I can't believe this. Damn, I can't believe this. Damn, I can't. Eventually, I woke up and I was like, all right, well, this is just who women are. Men, you've got to stop trying to placate and please these women. It's never going to work the way that you think it's going to work. And I know you think, well, I got game and I'm just going to hold masculine frame. And Man, you sound like a damn idiot that it never has any real experience with women. And I don't mean one woman you've been with in high school and into college, and I'm talking 20, 30, 40, 50 women. When you get your numbers up to that level, you'll say, damn, they're all like this. You'll realize it. Anyways, boys, I'm going with John. Hit like. Leave me some comments down below. Some of my regular uh, subscribers, back me up in the comments and let these young men know what they're up against out here. Boys, I'm going with John. We'll see you next time.